Good morning or good afternoon, depending on where you are. So I'm Adriane Oren Otayano. I'm the presenter of our paper, Corpus-Based Methodology for an Online Multilingual Collocations Dictionary, First Steps. And these are our the co-authors of our research. And I'll be presenting now the outline of this presentation. So first of all, uh, we'll be talking about the motivations of our research, our research goals, what we understand by collocations, the methodology of our work. Uh, we won't have too much time for too many details. And uh, but you can take a look at our, you can read our paper, and you can also uh, get in touch with one of our members, uh, Marcos Garcia, who's responsible for the automatic extraction, and he will be delighted. He will be willing to give you as much information as you may need. Uh, users profile, we focus on that as well. Plat calls, microstructure and, lay and layout, and some concluding remarks and future work. So one of the motivations that collocations have been on high on the agenda of foreign language learning and teaching, and they also require specific pedagogical attention. The complexity of translation of collocations is also another motivation regarding that the number of researches is not as significant as we may wish, so there is still a lot of work to be done. Concerning lexicographical work in English, Portuguese, Spanish, French, and Chinese, the focus languages of our research, there is still a gap in monolingual dictionaries in these languages, except for English, as you may all, may all know, there are uh, relevant uh, publications of collocations dictionary in English. As far as bilingual, multilingual, multilingual dictionaries are concerned, the gap is even wider, as most of them are research proposals and uh, have not yet been published or are not available online. And other motivations that we wish to compile a platform with higher customization to develop an innovative lexicogra lexicographical methodology and model for a multilingual, multilingual collocations dictionary, as well as the design of collocation software and platform, the PLATCO. Uh, well, for this presentation, we aim at describing the first steps of a corpus-based methodology for the development of this platform. And our project itself has the purpose of developing a phraseographical methodology and model for this platform in these languages we have already mentioned. So what do we understand by collocations? So they are recurrent combinations, arbitrary, conventionalized, pervasive combinations, lexically and or syntactically fixed to a certain degree. They may have a more or less restricted collocational range, are very specific of a language and culture, and the collocability of their elements may vary significantly from one language to another. Uh, regarding the methodology, it's based on automatic approach described in Garcia et al., enriched with sense information of the basis and a manual review and validation of the extracted data made by lexicographers, main members of this project. So our corpus, um, have been automatically compiled in the five languages uh, using different sources and parsed with, parsed with UD pipe. So here we have a, a, an outline of our corpora, the sources and the size of, our, of them. Uh, keyword extraction, so we focus on collocation types with three morphosyntactic classes of bases, nouns, verbs, and adjectives, uh, automatically extracted the lemmas of the nouns, with a minimum frequency of one occurrence per million tokens in each corpus. So here we have um, uh, a, a table of uh, keyword validation process. So we have the results of one of them in French. So this, these were keywords were submitted to the lexicographers to filter at noise and select the most frequent lemmas so that they could be used to extract candidate collocations. So here have a table of automatic extracted candidates in French, Portuguese, and English of nouns and verbs, and the number of validated candidates after our review. In terms of uh, identification of collocations and example sentences, we extract dependency triples with the selected bases and organize them as candidates with the following structure, relation-based collocate. We compute association measures, T-scores, Z-score, etc. I use the syntactic co-occurrence method described in average. Candidates with less than co-occurrence per million dependencies are discarded 
And we use GoodX inspired heuristics to automatically assign a score to each sentence in the corpus. Following COSEM et al., we discarded sentences with less than six tokens and incrementally penalized those with more than 30 tokens. This process also penalizes sentences with many punctuation marks, proper nouns, long words, French characters, and symbols. And for each collocation candidate, we select up to eight example sentences with a high good egg score. So this is a, a table showing the, the extraction, the base and the collocate, their frequency. Here on the screen, you can see some of the statistical measures we use. And here we have examples, four out of the eight, which are extracted. In terms, regarding translation of, calc of, of calcations, once the lexicographers select the most suitable collocations, we follow Garcia et al. to carry out an automatic translation of the collocations. So we train word embeddings representing each word as a lemma tag pair. We map the monolingual word embeddings in a shared vector space using VecMap. For each, collocations, um, for each collocation and source language, we search for distributionally similar equivalents of the base and the collocate in the target language. And those candidate collocation translations, sorry, which do not appear in the corpus with a low frequency, for example, are filtered out from the list of possible translations. Then we construct a composition of vectors of both the source collocation and the candidate translations and compute the cosine similarity between each source target pair. Candidate collocations are then ranked by the similarity. And finally, lexicographers validate the automatic translations, or we also propose new ones in those cases in which the method did not, did not provide proper equivalents. And that calls structure and design. Since foreign language learners or dictionary users in general uh, encounter challenges in using collocations in their native language, the platform is also designed to display monolingual dictionaries. Besides that, it will also serve as bilingual, trilingual, multilingual dictionary, the languages we are working with. Also take into account that collocations are automatically activated for each language. So here we have a screenshot of the platform so that you can use the source language. And if you want to, you can also choose the target languages. Uh, our proposal is in line with the functional theory of lexicography and thus both the procedures chosen for the selection, organization, and presentation of lexicographic data, as well as the termination of the content from form and access routes are adapted and subordinated to the user's preferences. So we have already defined our users based on our, as we can say, more than 20 year experience in teaching, teaching training, uh, in teaching translation and translation training. So we consider our users language learners, pre-service teachers and service teachers, learning and professional translators, material developers and researchers and lexicographers. In our paper, you see that we have already defined our user's profile based on this experience I've just mentioned, but we also intend to carry out research in order to better define uh, our user's profile. Uh, well, dictionary, in terms of dictionaries microstructure, head words are organized according to Hausmann's approach. Uh, so we have, for example, um, sorry, we have the head words, um, which are the basis of the collocations, right? The nouns, verbs, or adjectives, a word class, and if the word uh, belongs to more than a word class, each word class appears in separate entries so that the collocations and other pieces of information are easily organized. So it will also be displayed the frequency of each head word and a definition so that collocations can be easily and duly organized according to each sense of the head word. Uh, collocation structure, uh, so we can see here uh, the collocation syntactic structure proposed by Hausman, for example. Their taxonomy will also be displayed if users wish. Collocations can be either displayed in alphabetical order or by frequency of salience ranked according to their statistics score. And for more specialized users, such as researchers and lexicographers, collocations can be ranked by T-score, MI-score, etc. And the examples, so users will be able to choose from one to five examples. 
Uh, users will also have free access to the platform uh, to that calls basic microstructure, which can be seen in this uh, screenshot here in our from our prototype. So they don't need to sign in. Uh, besides that, advanced options will be available if users opt to sign in. So a new dictionary structure will be available as users choose from items in the menu. So as you can see here on your right, you have advanced options. They can click and choose whatever they want to be displayed. So future developments of the platform will also take into account users' feedback. Additionally, on advanced options, they may also opt to see the translations, as you can see on your right. So, equivalence of the sort entry, for example, plan, and its collocations in one, two, or more languages. In terms of direction, dictionary typology and dictionarily, di directionarily, collocations are automatically translated and post-edited in the following directions. However, these directions serve only for research purposes. Uh, once translation pairs between collocations are identified and registered in the system, making up a multilingual database, it becomes possible to identify and automatically suggest new translations among other languages. For example, the collocations develop a plan in English and desenvolver um plan in Portuguese are equivalents. Similarly, the collocations desenvolver um plan in Portuguese and desarrollar um plan in Spanish also have a translation relationship. This way, even if it has not been previously identified in the automatic extraction process, the relationship between the collocations develop a plan in English and desarrollar um plan in Spanish will be automatically, automatically inferred. Dictionaries in CFR levels, well, a challenge for assigning uh, CFR levels in a multilingual collocation dictionary is to find the equivalence between different languages. So even though the collocations black coffee, café solo, café noir, café preto could be considered translation equivalents, they are not equally found in different language corpora and may not be assigned to the same CFR level. Anyway, we stand for the relevance of collocations for all levels and therefore this dictionary should include collocations for all CFR learners. Some concluding remarks. Well, this paper outlined a corpus-based methodology for the development of PLATCO. It describes some lexicographical features that we have developed so far. It discussed the automatic approaches and methods to annotate corpora, extract candidate collocations, statistical measures, distribution of semantic strategies to select candidates, highlighting the relevance of post addition the lexicographical process. The dictionary's prototypes were presented, stressing the importance of developing innovative customization method methodology tailored to users' needs and is specifically designed for a collocations dictionary. For future work, we will discuss strategies to extract definitions for the dictionary's headway, headwords. Sorry. Uh, well, as this is an ongoing project, some ecological aspects as well as macro and microstructure structure decisions may still be changed, reshaped to best adjust the dictionary to the new languages and users' different lexicographical needs. Matters regarding the number of collocations, the amount of data to be displayed on the collocation dictionary screen, as well as types of filter, aiming to help users find relevant information according to their profile needs are still being investigated and, be, and will be further discussed in future work. Thank you very much. So we'd like to acknowledge, gratefully acknowledge the financial support provided by uh, FAPESP, and we'd also like to thank ELEX reviewers for their thoughtful comments ex and expertise that helped us improve our paper and reflect on future actions to be taken. Thank you very much, and I'll be open for questions.